behind running queries and authenticating. Um, first thing to do is in the plugin you need to put in your client email and private key. So that's what you're seeing there. So those are the secret credentials that you get from when you make a service account for Google Analytics Data API. So then once you've um, put those in there, and the sort of here's a sort of workflow <coughs> for each you can put in a different property ID so you can as long as the service account has got permission to read the property ID you can put in any property ID in here um, it's you can choose how to implement it I think best practice is you store the token in the database and keep it private and then I'm passing in the query so that's how running a report and authenticate Sim simpler it just um, it only needs two details this one's optional um, the scope uh, it's taken the uh, key and email from that we put into the plugin and it's creating an access token and here's me storing it into the database and then I keep it in the database uh, nice and secure with uh, strong privacy rules